great heavens. This is unbelievable. Totally unbelievable. You're going to say it transcends all the normal laws of physics? I am, yes. I mean, it does. It, it, it's preposterous, isn't it? I often think dimensional transcendentalism is preposterous, but it works. Would you like to look around? May I? Please. <sighs> Well, now we are here, why don't you tune up 1980 and we can... Well, leave. I can't. Oh. Well, why can't you? Because if Sutek isn't stopped, he'll destroy the world. But he didn't, did he? I mean, we know the world didn't end in 1911. Do we? Yes, of course we do. All right. If we leave now, let's see what the world will look like in 1980. I say, this is like something by that novelist chap, Mr. Wells. <laughs> 1980, Sarah, if you want to get off. the world as Sutek would leave it. A desolate planet circling a dead sun. I can't be! I'm from 1980. Every point in time has its alternative, Sarah. You've looked into alternative time. Fascinating. Do you mean the future can be chosen, Doctor? Not chosen, shaped. The actions of the present fashion the future. So a man can change the course of history? To a small extent. It takes a being of Sutek's almost limitless power to destroy the future. Well... We've got to go back. <laughs>